If we are not careful, we can get real set in just kind of going through the motions. I've said that before, but it's very crucial for us to understand that God is not pleased with religion. Amen. I wish I could get some help here today. God does not want us to be religious. God wants us to be a people that is called by His name, that is born again and in relationship with Him. There is a big difference between being religious and being in relationship. The most sometimes we can that But what God is saying is that we got a job to do. Sometimes we need to be reminded of the fact that God has called us for a purpose. We just kind of start doing our own thing and just kind of roll through the motions. And so we have to be reminded of the fact that God did not call us to sit. God called us to serve. So we are servants of God. We are law servants of the Lord Jesus Christ. And you can trust me, Jesus will come again. And because of that, the opposite is also true. God has a church that he's calling to rise up and come against the attack of the enemy. When the enemy comes and tries to rip off our faith, steal our faith, discourage us in our faith, it becomes our opportunity to rise up in faith. And I've got good news for you. Faith wins every time. Because God has got the fight fixed. He's already told us. He said, the power that I give you, the authority that I give it to my church is greater than the power of the enemy. He said, Behold, I give you power over all the power. Say, all the power. I give you power over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. In other words, whatever the enemy comes against away, whatever opposition I face, I've already won in Jesus' name as long as I give it straight and attach my faith to it. You know, you can almost, you can almost label those. And I know we're not supposed to label. That's not politically correct. But we're not politically correct people here on Harvard Fellowship. We just say what we want to say. As long as, it, as long as it's coming from the Word of God. All right? Amen. Amen. And so we've got to, in order to, in order for us to demonstrate faith, we must continually build ourselves up in faith. Because we have to have enough faith in our lives to give some of it away. My first point is building up our faith. We find it in Jude 1.20. Jude 1.20, you don't have to turn there, but check it out, write it down, and make sure I'm preaching from the Bible. Jude 1.20 says, But you, beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Spirit. This, the next thing we need to do, we need to pray in faith. This is I like that. That's what I titled my message, by the way, Touching Heaven and Changing Earth. Before we are ever going to uh, be able to um, infuse this earth with faith before we ever can establish faith in the earth, we for ourselves have to touch heaven. We've got to get into the presence of God. We have to touch heaven before we can change the earth. That's the type of man and woman of God that the Lord is looking for today. God is looking for a man and woman, a boy or a girl that will believe in God that is bold and daring and fearless, that will not back up and quit, that will demonstrate a faith that is alive, that will demonstrate a faith that will turn heads, that will demonstrate a faith that says, whatever it is you have, I desire for myself. Do you know today that God is going to take care of you? Do you know today, praise God, even when things look bleak, things look like they're dead, that God has a resurrection power in the name of Jesus, that if all things be dead, they will be brought back to life. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life, and though uh, he is dead, yet shall he live. I declare your life today, life in the name of the Lord. I, I declare your life, praise God, a release of power. 